2014 was a great year for me. Some significant things took place in my life for the better and it made it just an incredible year. I held my first convention, Summoners Con. My best friend Eileen moved to LA. A friend of mine gave me Kappa, my second French Bulldog. My brother got married. I met a whole new community of friends from Texas. Successfully found an awesome therapist named Hallie. And I fell in love with New York City. There's a lot more things I could mention, but those are just some of the things that stick out to me. There's been a lot of years in my life where I think, wow, I would never want to go through that year again, but 2014 is one that I'm like, yeah, I'd replay that. I loved, I discovered, I partied, I challenged myself and succeeded. I gave, I received, I learned, and I was brave. I also grew up a lot this year and I learned a lot from my experiences. I think what stands out to me most this year is Summoners Con. I'm so grateful for my partner Kevin who helped me pull off that event. He's somebody who brings out the best sides of me, or at least my favorite sides of me. My entrepreneur spirit, my business mind, and my ability to lead. With Summoners Con, I came up with the idea and it was something I was passionate about and I followed through. It's actually kind of rare that in my life when I come up with a good idea or something that I'm passionate about or something that I really want to do, that I actually follow through with it instead of just being excited about the idea. Working on something that you're proud of and excited about and then completing it is probably one of the best feelings I've ever had. It showed me that I'm smart, I'm capable, and if I'm driven enough I can succeed at whatever I put my mind to. And proving that to myself this year is pretty much priceless. I'm so thankful for my therapist that I found this year. This is the first time in my life that I've ever gone to therapy. As some of you may or may not know, I've struggled with a lot of anxiety for the last couple years of my life. and. Going to therapy actually really, really helped. Hallie really helped me learn things that I was incapable of learning on my own without someone's pushed in the right direction to help me see things in a different light. I want to continue to learn about myself as I get older and grow into the best person that I can possibly be and I find that therapy really helps me do that. Now to talk about friends. This year was a year of friendship for me. I really grew in the relationships and friendships that I had and I was able to open myself and rely on my friends in a way that I haven't in the past. I started to be more open with them, more vulnerable, and I also learned how to be a better friend. Not just a friend that listens when their friends are going through a hard time, but I learned how to be a friend that feels the pain alongside of your friends as they're going through hard times. Sometimes it's really easy to find people that will just listen to your problems or listen to what you're going through, but when you find friends that are willing to feel that pain with you and share with what you're going through, that's something that's so powerful and so hard to find, and yet this year I was really lucky in growing in my friendships and bringing them to the level where I feel like we haven't gone before. So for 2015, I have some ideas for how I would like my year to go. Of course I would like to have the normal New Year's resolutions where I work out more, get that New Year's hot body, eat better, start cooking more, socialize more, all these sorts of things that every year are kind of on my list. Well, this year I would like to focus on the inside a little bit more as opposed to just some outward New Year's resolutions. I really want to focus more on giving and when I say giving, I don't just mean giving my friends money or things that they need or helping people out when they're in trouble in terms of like needing money or something like those things are great and I will always give if I'm able to because I love giving but what I want to talk about next year is giving my time next year I've decided I want to start volunteering at children's hospitals where kids either have cancer or some terminal illness um, I started to look into it this past year in 2014 a couple times and I looked at some application processes and I was hitting some walls here in there and I kind of just let it fall to the wayside but for 2015 not for letting it fall to the wayside I'm going to figure out how to do it because you know what like there's people out there who simply just need love and people to hang out with them and to recognize uh, the pain that they're going through and what life is like for them but then to also not focus entirely on that and just have a good time so I really want to start volunteering my time that's one of the keys to happiness well at least for me is helping other people and I don't do it as much as I would like to and I think it's time to change that. I feel like I'm starting to get all over the place with this video, but I just wanted to say 2014 was an incredible year for me and I really look forward to 2015. I hope this doesn't come across like I've been bragging about anything, but instead I'm hoping that it shows that I have gratitude for all the wonderful blessings I have in my life. Yes, I have hard times like everyone else. Yes, my entire year did not go perfectly and there were things that went wrong. There was heartbreak and pain and sadness, but I don't want to dwell on those things. I would rather focus on the good. I hope that this video maybe inspired you a bit for next year to be brave and make decisions that you wouldn't normally make that would push yourself to be a better person with a better life. And thank you guys so much for being subscribers. Without you guys, my dream 
dreams of being able to be a YouTuber wouldn't be possible without you. You guys are wonderful. I hope this next year is the best year of your life so far, and I can't wait to share my life with you as we move forward. Bye guys, I love you.